week by back burn And those heads that turn Make my back, make my back burn Pluckers, I have a sore fingers again with you with part two of my lessons on the song from the cult called She Sells Sanctuary. Okay, that was a slightly shortened version, but it contains all the bits that you really need. Okay, right then, boys and girls, let's show you what I did. So, in the first lesson, uh, we did the intro. Okay, at the end of the intro, you've got that two lots of this riff. <laughs> to the verse, the singing part. Now, on the record, there's obviously lots of echoes and double guitars going on and all the rest of it, bass, drums, big production. So on the, what I showed you on the intro uh, lesson was when it comes into the singing, it's just doing this. <laughs> Now obviously if you've got the whole band behind you that sounds great, but if you're on your own it's a bit thin. So I've decided to play chords during the singing part of the song, okay? And the chords are very simple, there's only three chords in it. That's a D chord, a C add 9, which is this. So what I'm doing there is I'm doubling up on the third fret of the second string, the B string and the top E string, with my third finger and pinky. First finger is playing the second fret of the fourth string, the D string, and my second finger is playing the third fret of the fifth, the A string. Five down to one. And the third chord is a four finger G, so you leave those two fingers on the third fret of the top E string and the B string. Just move from the C add nine, just move these two fingers up a string to make a four finger G. And that's it. Now, you can play it straight, you can go, uh, Oh, the fair, sorry, and the hairs that turn make my back burn. Those hairs that turn make my back, make my back burn. And then to a little riff, which I'll show you in a second, okay? So that was just playing it straight. You can use palm muting, back edge of the hand here, resting very lightly somewhere near the bridge on the back edge of the strings and you get that get that sort of muffly uh, sort of chunk sound okay um, and there's only those three chords in the song there's nothing else to learn chord wise okay so uh, what we'll do now is we'll do the whole thing up to the end of the first verse and then I'll show you the break that breaks between the the riff that goes in between the first verse and the second verse okay so here we go see if i can get this right <laughs> Those heads that turn 
make my bed. Make my bed. So that's the riff that goes in between the first verse and the second verse. Okay, so let me just show you that. Okay, so when you come out of the uh, the verse, you go, you slide up, open fourth string. This is all on the fourth string and the third string. The the fourth string is always open. Okay, so you slide, you put your twelfth fret of the third string sliding up to the fourteenth. So it's two hit the two strings together. Yeah goes up to the 16th fret on the 3rd string, back to the 14th fret, so it's and then you cut the more hits and then you slide from 14 down to 12 on the 3rd string, so it's and you slide it down to 11 on the 3rd back to 12 and then slide it back to 14 so it's into the second phrase which is very similar to the first apart from the end of it okay so from the beginning of this phrase So the second phrase starts off exactly the same, you slide into that. And this time instead of just going, to, you slide down to 14, uh, 16 to 14, and you slide it down from 12 to 11. So it's, and then you slide that from 11 to 9, and then you go up to 12, and then you're into the verse. Okay, so the whole thing. Of this uh, this in between riff is slowly okay and then you into the D uh, sparkle in your Sparkle in your eyes keeps me alive, keeps me alive. The world, the world turns around. The world and the world, yeah, the world drags me down. And at that point, so you've done one verse, then the, uh, the break, and then you do the second verse and the third, there's no break in between two and three, you go straight into verse three and at the end of verse three you play the second half of the intro again right. you do that one twice so coming out of that uh, the world drags me down the world drags me down you go. verse which is uh, well ahead uh, turn again okay and then you do um, you do the foot the first break again in between verse 1 and 2 you do that one again okay um, and then you do another longer verse you do uh, longer or well, two verses I think it is there and then it, it goes into the the outro okay and in the outro um, at the end of the song, it, it does the whole intro bit again, the sort of... Okay. And then it goes into this bit. That's 
that's it. It's just and that's basically all the parts of the song. You just have to listen to the song and put them all together. Okay. And this bit is basically uh, open fourth string again, and you play along fourteen of the third to twelve on the third to eleven on the third. So it's. Then you do a bit of a pause and then you do it again. And a bit of a shorter version on that one. And then it does like two G chords. That sort of thing, okay? Anyway, so listen to the record and put all the parts in the right places. <laughs> You've got all the parts you need now to play the song. Okay, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.